Right, good morning everybody. Today we're in Dryalsden. Got Dryalsden Marina just around that corner. This is Kiwi's Pick, Kieran. Today at the minute we've got Welsh Dragon Magnets over there, there's Alistair. We've got Bill from the Bates Motel. Suzanne's here as well, just nipped off. And then have a wander down here. Got a couple of guys who were doing it. Who've been here and turned up this morning. A little wander over here. It's this man's birthday this week. We have Paul, Magnet Man Hulahan. Oh, Ash. All right, mate. How's it going? You all right. And then there he is. That's Kieran. There's Josh. There's a wave, Josh. And then down there we have Gina and John from Muddy Waters. And right down there, walking away, we have Dan DS Magnet fishing. Steve from Blackpool is also up around that corner with Tracer and Alan. The boys, Magnet and Steel RJ, not even 10 o'clock yet, and they're already here. So here early this morning. Must have done something in the bed. We have Charlotte from Welsh Dragon Magnets there. So, this is where I'm written. Don't know what's going on around here as well. A couple of dead fish. Not a good sign. So, anyway, there's Molly walking back this way. So, let's see how we get on today. A couple of people saying not getting much, but we'll see what we get. Try and get rid of these guys, get them out of my way. So, first chuck in, we've got half a scaffolding clip. And a bit of plate. I think we're going to have problems today. I think just in front of this edge here, is metal underneath the water about a foot out running all the way up. Hopefully not the case but we'll find out won't we? <laughs> so we've got a bit of flat cast, load of scrap, yeah nothing, bit of a washer. So look at that, we've had our first naughty item of the day. That is naughty and that has actually been back through the sharpener. You can see how it's got the little thing there. Obviously somebody's been sharpening that, messing about with it. Naughty, naughty that is. Uh, we've also got what looks a bit like a big rusty ring. We've got what looks a bit like a horseshoe. Well, it could be a horseshoe actually. Got a hole in it there, I might clean that up in a minute. And uh, see if it is a horseshoe. Plastic. Very clay here. Uh, that's it for that one. So yeah, by the looks of it, it's a little tiny horseshoe. You can see there was a hole there, hole there, hole there, hole there. Um, obviously it is falling apart a little bit. Probably a tiny little pony or something like that. Oh, there we go. There's that one. So on this one, we've got Jubilee clip, bit of plate. No. Uh, a little bit of metal there and plastic. We got what looks a bit like a chav can, but I don't think it is. That and then inside here, we got a little bag of money. Look at that, load of coppers. Oh, got a nail there. I'll try and get this off. See what's in there. Right, so there was 31 pence in that bag of coins, and then on this one we got square nail. We've got it's like a stamp. Uh, loads of little bits. Oh rubbish! Let's little handle. See if we can get this off. 
handle or something. Loads of magnetic rock. Yeah. Right, so on this one we got a couple of cans. Yeah, Tesco's just up there, isn't it? Look at that, we've got a really old key. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, why not? Blackpool magnetars and on this one a little bit of plate three inch nail bit of that just a load of rubbish oh got another 2p on that one that takes us to 33 for the day Let's see if I can keep up with how much money we get out today. It's not coming out fast. It's just a case of remembering what we've got. We're on 33. Are you oh. Madman's been let loose. Oh, God. Right, so, I've just pulled the massive rake out. Look at that. I think the uh, CRT use it to clean up debris in the water and stuff now they've got a massive massive handle on them obviously this one's been snapped off here it's a nice find now that could be a murder weapon on that one piece of cast can bottom a nail and some little chromed bits there no idea what they are but not a lot of good stuff. Right, so on this one, we've got that. Not sure what it is. Could be a hook off a boat or something, maybe. Not too sure. Along with that, we've got this big bar. Some big washers on it. We've got that. And then also on the magnet, We've got a spinner. We've got a bit of twisted metal. And just a load of rubbish. Right, so on this one we've got the bracket off something that's obviously been ripped out. Still got the uh, ground anchor pin in it, ground anchor bolt. We've got a nail, another square peg, a bit of flat bar, and oh, we've got that. Could be a blade, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. This now, right? You start getting one or two interesting finds, and everybody surrounds you. Always the case. That's it. Bit of plastic there. We got ourselves a first spoon. Stainless steel monogram. Bit more plastic. A little nail. And no, nothing good. Still bringing up loads of clay. So, might be a bit hard to find anything in this. Right, so, on this one, we've got a nice piece of pipe, a bit of cast plate, a couple of nails. Not getting any spectacular finds today over here at the minute. Alright, so we've got this bar here. This bar. 
good six foot plus solid solid bar and on top of that we've got this quite nice Wigan Pay Wigan Pay that was my pick right so on this one we've got this bit of a radius on it we've got a bit of cast magnetic rock there's a metal pin can bottom loads of little nails alright so on this one we've got another cast plate oh look at that some spikes in that oof we've got a bottle, bottle top We've got magnetic pebble, pins, and nothing else on that one. Alright, so on this one, another big piece of magnetic rock. Got this little handle. Obviously it must have been used for something at some point. And it's a bit of pipe. A bit of brake line or something maybe. Magnetic rock. Oh, we've got another two. That was up to 33, I think it was, wasn't it? 35. Nail, another nail. Sounds like Suzanne from the Bates is stuck. Right, so on this one we've got a bit of pipe. We've got, oh, we've got another key. We've got, let me get rid of some of this plastic, what's holding it in? What about metal inside it? We've got a bigger rusty nut. Steve Forrest. Uh, yeah, that's it. Right, so on that one we've got a big pan and we've also got a little plunger uh, another one else just some more magnetic bits right so on this one we've got another piece of solid bar yeah there we go that's because of that bloody thing Had a few of them with the little things in the end of them though. Love to know what they're off. Bit of ceramic. Another bolt. Bit of plastic. The material. Uh, hook. And a load of magnetic bits. So on that one we've got a little bit of bar. We've got a bottle cup. A bolt and the other little magnetic bits, screw, and the underside we've got this little like hexagon key. Oh, well, that's off. Well, I have had one of them before, I think. Might put that one to one side, see if anybody knows what that is. What the for? Maybe they're a different type of uh, lock key or something. Uh, that's it for that one. So on that one we've got a little piece of scaffold tube there, pretty rotten. And we've got this. Not sure what that is. That's solid there though. Oh, no idea. Anybody thinks you know? Put it down in the comments. Alright, so I think this dude on the uh, goat nearest is having some issues, Hazel. They've actually strapped both the bolts together and only that guy seems to be driving at the minute. I don't know if we're having a... He's got an issue with his engine or what. But, not seem very good. See what happens with this. Bring you back in a minute. But there is the marina that way. So, God knows. So, on this one we've got a little bit of pipe. 
some more bent up scaffold, rotter, uh, another bolt. Uh, what else we got? Loads of bits. Loads of little bits. Oh, being shouted. Right, so a couple of weeks ago at my pick, I pulled this out of the canal and Mr. Dan, DS Magnet Fishing, has cleaned it up for me. And I don't know if you can see it on there, but it says Solar Stainless Japan. That is absolutely top. It's a bit battered, needs new sides on it and stuff, but a bit crusted. Well, that's the man. Hello. Right, so on this one we've got drawer handle, magnetic rock, we've got trailer guard off a bike, and a load of magnetic rock, look at that, that's the magnet outside of the shield, Eesh. I've just given the boys some mega sour sweets, <laughs> he's dribbling, oh god, I'm crying, Straight in there, straight in there. <laughs> Look at me. He's got tears. Crying. <laughs> Burning. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> I've had everyone with these. <laughs> Caught it, them, aren't they? Straight from Mr. Sims. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Since you've both done that now, you get a little bit. Oh, that's epic. Alright, so, as we said before, today's, well, not today, but we're celebrating it today. Paul's birthday. A few balloons up there. We've got a cake. We've got nibbles. We've got sandwiches. We've got him a badge. Stop that cake for us, James. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a cracking cake, that. So. Then the boys have got him this. Yeah. A little 50. Even though it says 05. It says 50. Yeah, zero. There we go, there we go. There he is. It's over the moon. Hold on a minute. Can see this is best light. There we go. Very photogenic, me, you know. Now we had him in tears a minute ago. Oh, I'll tell you what, this has been amazing. It really has. He's got his card. I have. It's a really big, nice big card. I think we've shown that before, I can't remember. There it is. There's his card. There he is at the Manchester Club. Having a bit of fun. There we go. Go on there. You know what you're doing, Carl? You're all right. Told you. I was a chauffeur. Oh! Hey! Oh, yeah. Sammy, I was done. Well, you should have stopped one now. You should have stopped one. You should have wasted it. Me and the drag queen have already had our special christening. Pictures are it, didn't happen. <laughs> now look at them bad boys. They are well and truly old. Proper old school pair of skates there. That'll be right up Mr. Houlihan's uh, street then. Now he loves his skating. Is that a quick leave? Right, everyone seems to have gone now. So I'm just going to tidy up these last few bits. And then we'll be going. So... We'll say goodbye to the birthday boy. Thank you very much, everybody, and thank you so much for what you've done today. I really do appreciate it. It's unbelievable. Oh. I've, I've stopped crying now, so I'm all right. Let's <laughs> together. Say goodbye to Tori from the Slack Clan. Bye. Goodbye to Dan, DS Magnet Fishing. Goodbye. See you later. Watching me, watching you. See you later. <laughs> say goodbye to Alan oh, and Little Dog. Could even looks like he's been out mines. I do. I feel like a big dog. And goodbye, Steve! Oh, he'll be back in a minute. But I'll just wrap this video up now. So, yeah, good day. Plenty of bits coming out. Not loads, but 
good few bits there. Paul's had a good day. We've had a bit of scran, all the rest of it. So not a bad day on the whole. We're giving Tracer find of the day for this. No idea what it is. We think it might be some sort of boiler system out of a boat. Um, so yeah, she's having that. He was going to give it to Paul with it being his birthday, but he don't want it. He's not out next week. I won't be out next week, more than likely, because it's Remembrance Day. But don't, don't hold me on it. I might try and get out for a few hours. See what the day brings. Catch you later, guys. See you on the next one.